Inflation, shortages, recession. There's a lot of trouble on the horizon. We're stocking our pantry for hard times ahead. Hey guys, it's Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Thanks for tuning into the channel today. I've got another prepper pantry haul to show you today. I've got some really neat things, some different things that I've picked up, and I've gotten things from some different places that I have never shopped before. So I'm super excited to show you all what I got. But before we get started, I just want to remind everyone out there not to lose sight of all the reasons that we prepare. Everything we see these days, everywhere we turn, it's all about food shortages and rising prices. That's the big news right now. And we've had some comments lately, some people who've said, we're not going to have food shortages. We're not going to run out of food. There's no need to do all this, no need to stockpile food. And I just kind of have to shake my head. Not only at the fact that there are some people out there who still don't see what's going on all around us, but guys, don't let yourself get tunnel vision and get so focused on one thing that you lose sight of the whole big picture. Yes, the shortages and inflation, the state of the economy, those are what everyone is talking about right now. There are so many different things that we prepare for. I mean, yes, we do prepare for the possibility of an EMP or some other type of long-term grid down SHTF scenario, but we also prepare for extreme weather events. Most any region has them of some sort, whether it be hurricanes, tornadoes, ice storms, or anything else. You could be left without power or access to stores for days or weeks easily. We prepare for small emergencies like your car breaking down and leaving you stranded. Having emergency supplies to take care of the small emergencies like that is just as important a part of your preparedness plan. We prepare for personal emergencies. The loss of a job, the loss of a spouse, even an extended illness or an unexpected expense can throw your budget and your life into a tailspin. We've heard from so many people whose preps have gotten them through hard times on a personal level. I had someone write in after one of my last hauls inquiring about one of my purchases, which was dishwasher soap. He was asking why I would buy this if I was preparing for a long-term SHGF situation where the grid would likely be down, and it wouldn't it make more sense to buy liquid hand dish soap. And I explained the exact same thing to him. We prepare for so many different scenarios. In 2020, during the beginning of the pandemic, cleaning supplies disappeared off the shelves. I couldn't find disinfecting wipes for months. Um, one particular bleach cleaning spray that I used was not available for over a year. So I relied on my existing supply to get me through until those things were available again. So I do try to keep at least a six month supply, six months to a year supply of those items. And yes, I do consider that part of my preps. And you know, there are folks out there who say the shortages are due to the preppers stockpiling and hoarding things. That's not the case because it's been done gradually over time. The market can handle me throwing an extra jug of detergent or a few extra cans of food in my cart here and there over time. If anything, it's the panic buying by those who are unprepared that empties the shelves. Meanwhile, the people who have prepared are sitting home smiling, thinking, well, I'm all set. So just don't lose sight of the big picture and all the different reasons there are to make sure that you and those people who rely on you are prepared. Because if there's one thing that we've learned, when we're all over here looking at one thing, that's when something else is gonna come out of left field and totally blindside us. And it will probably be the thing that you'd least expect. Now let's take a look at what we've added to our preps this week. So as usual, I've got my things separated into food and non-food items. So I'm going to start right over here with the food items. Now I have a whole bunch of brand new seasoning powders. Now if you know me, you know that I love my meals in a jar. I love to make meals in a jar and you need to have all dry ingredients for the meals in a jar that I make. So if I can find any type of seasoning or ingredient in a dry form, I am all over it. So these first items I got from a store called Firehouse Flavors. Now if you saw the last meal in a jar that I made, it was the barbecue beef and beans, and I used some of these items in that meal. I've got a whole bunch of ketchup powder back here. So this is powdered ketchup. And I've got, I ordered a big one, I think it was five pounds, but I ended up with a half gallon jar and a quart size jar and a pint size jar. I probably should have used two half gallons, but I didn't know it was gonna be that much. And then some of the other ingredients that I got from them, every time you order from them, they let you choose two free samples. So this time I got malt vinegar powder and granulated dried jalapeno to try. I also got, this is beer, beer extract powder. If you wanted a little bit of beer flavor in something, Worcestershire sauce powder. I also used that in the barbecue beef and beans. There's lime juice powder and two red wine vinegar powders. I think that I must have made a mistake. I thought maybe they mistakenly sent me two, but I checked my slip and it did say that I ordered two, so I'm not sure how I did that, but eventually it will get used. 
Now they have all sorts of really neat powdered ingredients. These would be great for people who do like homemade dip mixes or uh, baking mixes or like I do the meals in a jar. This is a bacon flavored powder. These are powders that I've gotten. I didn't get them this time, but I've gotten them in the past. Dijon mustard powder, vanilla powder. This is great for um, homemade baking mixes if you want vanilla in it without having to add liquid vanilla. Balsamic vinegar powder. There's grill flavor powder and hickory smoke powder. Those two also went in my barbecue beef and beans. So needless to say, I really love that store. I will have a link down in the description box to where you can find these things to their website. And everything else that I talk about, if I'm able, I'll leave a link for you. These are also from the same store. This is teriyaki sauce powder and this is banana powder. I thought this would make a good banana bread mix in a jar. Now these next mixes did not come from that same store. I think these were from Amazon but I've got some green coconut curry sauce mix, some yellow coconut curry sauce mixes. These are all from this Hawaiian brand and these are interesting Hawaiian style curry. Another one of those Chinese beef tomato. I think it's kind of like a pepper steak type of seasoning. And then this is a large bag of their teriyaki burger seasoning. It's seasoning mix for meatloaf and uh, hamburgers. I have this book, which I really love. I haven't made anything out of it yet, but I've looked through it quite a bit. And this lady recommended this Hawaiian style Terry burger seasoning for a teriyaki recipe. So I thought that was a really good idea to use this as a teriyaki seasoning. Of course, I also got the teriyaki sauce powder from Firehouse Flavors. So we'll see, I'll play around with it and decide what I would like to use. Now these here, this is from, I can't even remember the name of the store, but I will definitely put the website down in the description for you. This is the only place I have found wine powders. I do like to cook with wine when I cook. And so when I do my meals in a jar, I wanna have that flavor option. So I got this sherry wine powder. There's a red wine powder and a Chablis white wine powder. The only thing about these, I thought the price wasn't too bad. Like I said, I've never found these things like this anywhere before. The only thing I was a little disappointed in is I thought they might come in a jar, kind of like what the Firehouse Flavors things come in, but that's no big deal. I will put these into a jar myself, and I was very excited to find these ingredients. Now these are a couple more curry sauce mixes. Now you can tell that I've been really wanting to play around with curry flavors in my meals in a jar. These are kind of strange. I found these on Amazon and it looks like they come from Ireland, so I'm not really sure what they're gonna be like because I don't really associate curry with Ireland, but we'll see. I'm gonna give them a try and see what they're like. Hopefully we can use them for something. And then this last seasoning here is uh, Grill Mates, McCormick Grill Mates barbecue seasoning. I like this a lot. I used to have a small container of it and I used it all up and I've been wanting to replace it. So I got this big one. It's just good to put on meats if you're gonna grill or it's just a good seasoning. I really like it. So next you'll see I got on kind of a an old El Paso taco Tex-Mex kind of kick. Now this all of this stuff here I got from Target. Now that's a new thing for me. I have not done a lot of shopping at Target. We don't have a Target nearby. Our closest Targets are an hour away. So I really have not shopped there in a very long time. But I was looking online um, and I found all these things online. So I placed an order and we are supposed to be getting our own target about a half an hour away so i'm pretty excited for that it was supposed to be this summer i think but now we're hearing like black friday but i'm definitely excited for that um let me know if there's any grocery or prepping items that you like to pick up at target i know they have a decent camping section i believe from the times i've been in there but i saw these really cool taco shells taco holders i don't even know where i saw these but they caught my eye so i started searching the internet for them and I did find, I didn't find them at Target, but I did find these on Amazon. So these are coming. These just took a little bit longer. So I'll probably have these in an upcoming haul, but I did find all of these other items at Target on Target's website that they didn't have on Amazon for a very good price. So I've got this cheesy Mexican rice. I've got a couple of these to try. It just sounds really good. And you know me, whenever we buy something new to try, we try it first to see how we like it before we buy a whole bunch. If we do like this and we want to stock this, um, this looks like it's good through October of 2023. So it's got over a year shelf life on it and I'm sure it would stay good well past then. So if we do like this, we'll buy more. And then I just grabbed one of these um, Chipotle chicken burrito bowls. For some reason, this really looked good to me. Now it doesn't have, this is another thing that we're just trying. I don't know that I'd buy these very often. It only includes the rice 
and the chipotle seasoning for the chicken and this um, queso blanco sauce so you'd have to supply the chicken and all the rest of the items but the more I looked at this, the more it sounded really good. And I think I needed one more item for um, $35 to get my order to ship. So I threw this in and we'll try it and see how it is. And next I got all these sauces. I have a thing for condiments. I really love them. We're going to have a big old taco night once those taco shells come. We'll try all this stuff out and see how we like it and see what we might want to stock in our pantry. But I just went down the biggest taco rabbit hole, and so I ended up getting all these sauces to try. These, Good and Gather, this might be Target's um, store brand, I'm not sure. Like I said, I never really get to shop there, but let me know if you know um, down in the comments. This is a lime crema sauce and a creamy chipotle sauce that looked really good. There's, these are Old El Paso, there's a creamy salsa verde, a creamy queso sauce, and a spicy queso blanco. And then these Ortega Street Tacos. There's Asada and Mojo. So those looked really, really good. So like I said, we will have a big old taco night and just try all these out and decide if we want to start storing any of these in our pantry. So next I have a few things from Amazon. Now this is an Augustine Farms. This is the Black Bean Burger Mix. Now this got really good reviews. I've never tried this before. Um, I know that the big pail of it, they have a giant pail of it, and it went on sale for a pretty good price recently, but I just didn't want to jump right in with a big pail of it. You know, I just wanted to make sure it was something that we would like and we would eat. But this has a very long shelf life on it. This is up to 25 years before it's opened. Like anything else in these cans, once it's opened, it probably has about a year or so. But it's just a black bean burger mix that you only need to add water. And you know what? We like burgers. My son loves burgers. He doesn't really care if it's vegetarian or what kind of burger it is. If it's a patty and he can throw it on bun with some cheese, he's pretty happy. So I thought this would be a good thing to try. And then if we do like it and I notice the big bucket go on sale again, then I could buy the big bucket. But I did not want to invest in the big bucket until we had tried it. And then I got some more buttermilk powder. I needed some more buttermilk powder for my baking mixes. And this was just the cheapest. I sort of compared prices on Amazon and this was the cheapest one that I found. I think they're all probably pretty similar, pretty much the same. And then I did get, these are from BJ's, which is our wholesale club that we have in our area. These are dark chocolate covered almonds. And then behind this is some granola bars. I've got three boxes of these, um, these 12 packs of the almond sweet and salty granola bars. Those are from Walmart. Now this brings me to an important point about snack foods. Now there's one thing that I've seen a lot of people say, I know I've said this before, but I hear this over and over when people do go through some sort of emergency where they have to live off their preps for a while. The one thing that I hear over and over is everyone says they wish they had more snack foods. And so I try to keep some snack foods in the pantry, but that's also difficult because snack foods tend to not have as long of a shelf life. If I've had one thing that has gone bad on us in the pantry, it's tended to be cookies, crackers, granola bars, things like that, because they just can't be kept as long. So if you wanna keep a lot of snack foods in your pantry, you really need to just keep up on it keep them rotated, make sure that they're being eaten and being replaced. But these dark chocolate covered almonds from BJ's, this was the best deal I could find on these. These, these are good until August of 2023. And of course, like any other Best Buy dates, they're gonna be good long after the Best Buy date, but this is just what I go by to see the approximate shelf life. So these have over a year shelf life on them. So I could store as many as we could eat in a year, year and a half at least. Now these will not last a year, but I'll probably keep an eye out and if I do find a coupon, I will start buying some more of these. I used to buy these all the time and I had stopped and then my daughter started asking for them. So I decided I would start buying these again. And like I said, having snack foods in your prepper pantry is something that I hear people say over and over again. So that's something to think about. Now these are from Amazon because I did end up finding the best price on Amazon. I did show these um, in a recent haul. I can't remember when, but I had just bought one of these five packs. This is a different type of ramen that I used to have in college. I have a fondness for it and I don't eat it very often. I just thought I'd have a pack to have on hand. It's one of my comfort foods. If I'm not feeling well, I might reach for something like this, something, you know, really kind of unhealthy that I wouldn't normally eat. But this is a little bit different. And anyways, my daughter, my middle daughter discovered this and she started eating it and she ate through my whole five pack that I had bought to keep in the pantry. So I decided I better buy a little bit more. So this was six five packs and this was actually the cheapest you know, per unit that I could find. So I was pretty excited about that. These are pretty tasty. They have a little bit of a different flavor and they have a little bit of a seaweed packet that you can dump in this little sprinkle of 
dried seaweed flakes and it's just just something that I enjoy and my daughter really enjoyed it so we grabbed some more of these so this next bunch of stuff this is some lemon curd I needed some lemon curd for some baking and stuff and I was having a hard time finding it locally to me so I started looking online and I was kind of having a hard time finding it online at least for a decent price it's pretty expensive but this was the best price that I was able to find this was Amazon it was actually a six pack of these lemon curds and it actually came I didn't expect this but it came in this gift box I've since unpacked it but I didn't intend it as a gift I bought it for myself but I did end up giving two of them away as a gift so but this is plenty for us for a little while um you can put this on toast and like I said you can use it in different baking and things like that now behind that I have a bunch of these packets of like stir fry noodles these are udon noodles these are not dry noodles these are kind of like already cooked and they're in these packages so I've got udon um, I don't even know what that says but some other kind of stir fry noodles these are pad thai noodles and um, these Vietnamese noodles now I ordered these all online so I wasn't able to check the expiration dates when I picked them up but the expiration dates range from December of this year up until like March April of next year so I would say that they probably tend to have at least a six month shelf life on them and I'm sure they'll last longer than that so I do consider that something that I can stock in my prepper pantry something that we something that we would use within that time frame so say that they have a six month shelf life and say that we use these once a month I could store at least six months worth in my pantry without worry of them going bad or getting wasted and have them on hand the good thing about these is that they are already pretty well cooked you just need to kind of warm them stir fry them add them to some broth or stir fry them with some vegetables and some meat and have a meal now these are a few of the already cooked microwave rice pouches um, I like to keep these on hand for quick meals but they're also good to have for potential emergencies just because they're already cooked and they really just need to be heated so you could throw them into a pan if you needed to obviously you might not have your microwave but these are from Dollar Tree and this is a new brand I hadn't seen in there before so of course now they're a dollar twenty five but they had uh, just plain white rice jasmine rice and Spanish rice I bought one of each to try and I'm already kind of wishing that I had bought a few more of these I think that's a pretty decent price for this type of product and we do use this a lot so I like to keep these on hand now here's just a few more condiments this is a teriyaki based and glaze sauce that um, I'm gonna be using this in a recipe and then depending on how we like that recipe I probably will end up buying some more of this to keep on hand and then this is a mayo and this is a pretty big mayo this is a 48 ounce mayo but this brings me to a good point when you're thinking of food for your prepper pantry is if it's something that needs to be refrigerated you need to think about the sizes of your containers now the mayonnaise that I have in my fridge right now that we're using up is a gallon size mayonnaise I got a really good deal on these gallon size mayonnaise so I bought a couple of them a while back now I probably paid as much for the gallon size as I paid for this maybe so it was a really good deal and it's definitely saved me some money using it but if we were to find ourselves in a grid down emergency and not have refrigeration that is one thing that I don't think would be able to stay very good outside of the refrigerator so this even is kind of a big package to use for emergencies so you need to think about having some smaller packages in your preps because if you don't have refrigeration and any way to keep things cool you might not want to have a large package of something perishable that's open now that being said there are a lot of things that say to keep refrigerated that I do not necessarily keep refrigerated because we just don't have the refrigerator space but mayonnaise is one of those things that I think isn't gonna do too well outside of the refrigerator for very long so next I got these hash corned beef hash there's two different size containers you can see there's a large container and a small container this large container of the great value I had one of these in my pantry and I only had one of this size so I took it out because I thought I'm just gonna use this up because I don't have any other cans this size so we had it for dinner the other night we had a breakfast for dinner and everybody just loved it and ate it and wanted more and so I decided I probably need to start buying these bigger size cans rather than the small size cans but our Walmart doesn't carry these so I either have to go to a different Walmart in a different town or I have to order them I've, they've been available to order I did order these and have them shipped these four four large cans but 
they're not always available. They would be available, they'd let me add them to the cart, and then they'd disappear before I could check out. And that happened over and over again until I was finally able to quickly check out with these in my cart. And they did come. And then the Armour I tried because this brand is actually pretty inexpensive. It's not quite as inexpensive per ounce as this large can of great value, but it's cheaper than a lot of the other brands. And so I did buy these to try this Armour brand. We found the same thing with the Chili. Um, recently the armor brand chili that I found at Dollar Tree was actually cheaper than the great value brand So behind there Next to the hash. I do have a couple of containers two containers of pineapple juice I do like to keep some pineapple juice on hand just because if you're sick and you have a cold It's got some enzymes in it that are really good for your cough And so I like to give this to the kids if they have a cough and we just had a couple getting over a cough So we did go through a lot of the pineapple juice that we had on hand. So I'm replacing that to make sure that we have some on hand and then these are just a couple more different Asian noodles that I thought would be um, fun and different to try cooking with I do have some lo mein noodles but I did grab one more package and these are just some rice noodles I'm going to try these in a recipe and like I said if we like it and it comes out pretty well I will buy some more of these to have on hand now this was another item that I found at Dollar Tree. So of course this was $1.25, but it's this tasty brand, Creamy Salsa Verde Chicken Dinner Kit. Now just like the other um, old El Paso kits that I was showing you, this doesn't, doesn't really come with a lot. You have to add the chicken. It comes with sauce, seasoning, and rice, and that's it. You're supposed to add your own chicken and your own bell peppers, but I think it would be okay without that. But you probably could even use canned chicken in this if you wanted to. So I just grabbed three of these to try. And if we do like it, maybe I'll grab some more. I'd never seen this before. And then of course back here, this is another Amazon um, purchase. This is a case of rice aroni and it's the stir fried rice rice aroni. Now I had a package of this in the pantry, a package or two, and we fixed it up one night and we really liked it and we wanted more. And I was not able to find it at my Walmart. I don't know where I had gotten it originally. But so of course I went to Amazon and I found it on Amazon. And I think for this uh, 12 pack, this case of rice aronis, I paid $12 and I think 14 cents, which made it just about a dollar a box, a dollar and like one cent. And my Walmart wants to charge anywhere from a dollar to a dollar 33 for rice aroni right now. So I thought that was not a bad deal at all. So I grabbed a case of these. These will stay good for quite a while in the pantry. And then next, of course, I've got my Thrive Life um, order. This is actually several orders that have come uh, since I last did a haul, but I've got all my snackies pouches. I think I just grabbed one of each. Um, there's bananas, peaches, coconut bites. These coconut bites are so delicious and they had been out of stock for quite a while. So everyone was really excited to see these come back in. This is the only item, one of the only items they have that's really just kind of a sweet treat. It's not, everything else is wholesome, nutritious, single ingredient, you know, no additives, no preservatives. This is kind of a sweet treat, but we really do like these. And then pineapple red grapes and strawberries and of course these are all freeze-dried the only difference with the snackies pouches is that they're not going to have the 25 year shelf life that most of these cans have but we buy these for more frequent use and for snacking on so we're not looking for shelf life on these we buy these items in cans if we want to be able to store them for longer term but these are just for the kids to grab and snack and then i did get two of these sauces this is the chicken gravy the balute now i use this in a lot of recipes so i wanted to make sure that i have plenty on hand it goes in a lot of my meals in a jar and it's just a really easy thing to just throw in with anything and make up a quick chicken gravy now these are gluten-free which is not something that our family really has to worry about but i do know a lot of people who are looking for gluten-free food so that's one really great aspect that these have and they also blend in really well I can mix this right in with you know hot bubbling boiling water and I don't have to worry about it clumping up like you would with a lot of other gravy mixes and this oh this is the brownie dough bites this is actually something that I got as a gift so this isn't available for a purchase right now but it might be coming up they might make this available I think they used to have this available and then they just brought it back as a consultant gift because they're really good to their consultants and then what do we have here? If you see in the back, I've got, see that's three high. So in the back, there's six of those asparagus. I think I mentioned before that I had ordered a case of the asparagus with these number 10 cans, which is the gallon size cans, a case is six. And we had used the asparagus for the first time and I liked it so much that I ordered a case so that we would make sure we always had that on hand. And then I do have a couple of items that were on sale for the month of June. 
So of course, by the time you see this video, I think it will be July. And so I'll put a link down in the description so you can check out what's on sale for this month. But these are from June sale. I got onion slices. I got two of the shredded beef because that was a good deal in June. And I always try to stock up on the meats when they're on sale because the meat obviously is going to be one of the biggest bites out of your budget. And it's one of the most important things to have some protein and freeze dried meats are just so much better than canned or any other way that you can have them. So I got two of the shredded beef and I got a can of the sweet cherries. Now this is something that they've recently changed and they have a whole section now called limited time because what what they're doing is they're kind of having their core products that they're going to keep in stock all the time. The things that are most popular and that people are constantly wanting to buy. And then they have some other items that are limited time availability. And I think that's because these are kind of seasonal items and they really pride themselves on getting the freshest food there possibly is. They have a great relationship with their farmers. They know where their food's coming from. They know the quality of it and they make sure that it completely ripens on the plant and that they process it and begin this freeze drying process within the first few hours after it's picked. And that has a lot to do with why the quality of this is so high. And so I think that has a lot to do with why they're offering certain seasonal things at certain times of the year. They're going to get these cherries when they're absolutely the freshest and they're going to freeze dry all that they can. And they're going to hope that that supply lasts throughout the year. But if it doesn't, then we know that it's a limited time product and it will come available again in June. This was something that came available in June. They are still available. I'm going to get some more of these because we these are really tasty. These are just really, really delicious and nutritious. And then the other thing that I got was raspberries because these were on sale and we love the raspberries. We always make sure to have plenty of these on hand. These are good for snacking. They can also be good for, you know, baking and making desserts. And I did put some of these raspberries in my raspberry lemonade concentrate that I can. So there's all sorts of uses for these. And one thing that was very exciting about some of this Thrive Life is that this included my first order that was completely free, completely paid for with free credits because they just started a new program. They used to have it years ago. They hadn't had it since I had been with the company, but they started a new program where consultants can earn free credit. And so I was able to order, I believe it was the cherries and the gravy mixes and all of the snackies. I think I was able to order 100% free credit. I didn't pay anything for those. So that is awesome. That's something to think about if you think that you could sell something like this. If you think that you know people who would be interested in freeze dried food and it could be for any reason. It's not just for prepping. I mean, that's kind of where it began because it does have the 25 year shelf life. But this is great for people who are outdoorsy, people who backpack, who hike, who camp, people who are full time RVers or even part time RVers. It's great for RV life because it's absolutely very, very light and it doesn't require refri refrigeration. Fruits, vegetables, meats, cheeses, nothing requires refrigeration. It's also good for people who want to save time in the kitchen, people who want to not have to do a lot of prep prep work and chop, you know, if their hands are not working as well as they used to, older people. It's it's popular with so many different groups of people. And so if you think that you would be able to sell this, this is a great time to get into being a consultant because they have the free credit now. So you could completely stock your pantry with absolutely the best freeze dried food for free. Now, when we joined, they didn't have the free credit and we joined not really to make it a business. We joined just to get a little bit of a kickback on our own purchases. But as time has gone by and we have started sharing this with people, it really has turned into a business and it's been such a blessing for our family because this business is booming. And if you think about it, inflation is rising through the roof. And what is the one thing they say that your your income is not going to keep pace with inflation. But because this industry is growing so rapidly, I do feel like my my income is keeping pace with the inflation right now. And it's just a blessing to have a business that can be worked from anywhere. I can be sitting in the car waiting for my kids to get out of practice and I could be sending emails if we want to go on vacation. As the kids get older and they're a little bit more independent, we want to think about taking more vacations. Just to have a business that you can work from anywhere is really a true blessing. So I will definitely put a link down in the comments where you can go and check it out, check out the details if it's something that you think you might be interested in, if it's something that you think that you could do as a business. But really, like I said, this industry is growing so rapidly and it's one of those things where it used to be you had to sell people on the idea of food storage. You had to teach people and educate people on why it was important to have food storage. And nowadays you don't have to do that. The world is doing that for us. The world is showing people why they need to have a food storage. So that part of it is taken right out of the equation.
And then the last food items that I got were from Azure Standard. Now, I was pretty excited about this. This is my first order from Azure Standard. They did not used to be available in the Northeast, and that's a pretty recent development. And so this is my first order with them. Now, I could talk on and on about Azure Standard, but so I'm going to make a separate video about my ordering experience with Azure Standard because really... This video would be an hour and a half long if I told you everything about Azure Standard, but I only got these three items because they have so much. It was just overwhelming to know what to choose. I knew that I wanted some wheat and that was why I originally went to them. That is why I originally found them. I was looking for the best price on wheat and this is where I found the best price. The prices have gone up a little bit lately, um, but they're still, they have the lowest prices that I was able to find. But it's been a really tough season for wheat. We know that there's going to be shortages. The prices are going to be higher. It's supply and demand. But I did get um, two bags. These are 50 pound bags and I got soft white wheat and I got hard red wheat. Now I can't remember if the hard white wheat was not available or if I didn't get it because I do have quite a bit of that already. So the difference, because I've had people ask me the difference between the different types of wheat. Now these are whole wheat berries. Now the benefits of storing the whole wheat berries are numerous, but the biggest benefit is that these are going to store a lot, lot longer than wheat flour. These can store 25 to 30 years easily if they're stored properly. Now these just came in these paper bags, these paper sacks. So I'll be opening these up and repackaging these airtight. Um, but if they're packaged properly, they can last 25 to 30 years easily. You can sprout this and even after it's been stored i've heard a lot of people are still able to sprout them if they're stored properly you can sprout these you can grind them into flour and here's the thing is when you grind the wheat into flour it starts to lose its nutrition within the first two or three days it's lost almost all of its nutrition so when you buy flour at the store you really are buying it already depleted of all the nutrients that it started with so this is a much more nutritious way to bake but you also can cook the whole wheat berries if you didn't have a grinder or something happened to your grinder you can cook these wheat berries and make like a cooked grain sort of similar to rice not really but you can make like a pilaf out of it a hot cereal out of it there's so many things that you can do with this wheat now the difference between the types of wheat i said i have hard white wheat in my food storage already i have a lot of that now that is going to be the closest you want to use the hard uh, hard wheats for bread and the hard white wheat is going to be the closest to like store-bought bread. The hard red wheat is going to be much more nutty and sort of more whole wheat. It's all whole wheat if you're grinding these wheat berries you're getting whole wheat. But the hard white wheat is going to be a little closer to probably the white store bread that we're used to. This is going to be sort of a more dark um, more whole wheat-ish kind of loaf. And then the soft white wheat is better for things like pastries. Cakes, pastries, things like that. But so like I said, look for a new video coming out soon. I'm gonna have a whole video where I talk all about Azure Standard and my whole process of ordering with them, the process of how I got it, because it's a very interesting process, but I just don't wanna spend that much time in this video with all these other things. It would be too long. And then the third item that I did get from Azure Standard was this elderberry powder. Now I was very, very excited to find this. This is 100% um, premium freeze-dried elderberries. Now elderberries are really great. They're known for their immune boosting properties. They're really great remedy for cold and flu and things like that. Now knowing what I know about freeze-drying, I know that freeze-drying preserves 97% of the nutrients that are in the fresh food and I, know, and I know that it's by far the best method of food preservation when it comes to preserving nutrients. And so this is going to be probably the best form of elderberry you can possibly get. This has been freeze-dried. It has not been cooked like a syrup would have been. And so you're going to get all the nutrients in this. You could add this into smoothies. You could add this into yogurt. You could stir this into just about anything. You could stir this into a little bit of water and make your own little elderberry syrup, sort of cough, cold medicine. There's so many possibilities for this. And I was very, very excited to find this. But I only got these three items from Azure Standard because I was so overwhelmed with all of their offerings. They have a lot of organic. They have a lot of natural things. They have a lot of gluten-free, they have a lot of bulk things, but it's not all bulk. You can get things in smaller quantities as well. You know, you could get smaller bags of wheat. I just chose to get these because it's the cheapest per pound. So I'll put a link to Azure Standard down in the description with the rest of the items if you wanna check them out. All right, so over here I've got all my non-food items. And over here I'm gonna start with some canning supplies, mostly canning jars. I did get two more cases of the regular mouth quart size jars because I've used quite a few of those recently and I just like to keep, make sure that I have plenty empty jars. 
And then I got a box of these are the um, a case of the half gallon jars. Now the half gallon jars, my store had these cases last year pretty regularly for about $12. So about $2 a jar. And I didn't buy any because I have a few of these that I already have and I just don't use them that often. So I didn't feel like I needed or wanted more. Well, of course, this year I decided I was going to start using them a little bit more and I wanted to get more. And lo and behold, with my luck, of course, our store was no longer carrying these cases. Now they sell one individual half gallon jar for $5. But I am able to find this case online on their website and you have to keep an eye out because if it's sold and shipped by Walmart, it's you know, the regular price, which is about $14 now. I think it was $13.98. But once Walmart goes out of stock, it will still be there, but it will be sold by another seller and the prices are jacked way up. So that's something you have to watch out for on Walmart, on Amazon, everywhere. But I did grab one case of these. You know, it's a little bit more of an expensive item. So I only grabbed one. I'll probably grab another one here in a while. This is an item that I saw. This is called it's made by Ball. It's called the Sure Tight Band Tool. Now, I definitely think I paid way too much for this. I saw this on one of my Canon groups. Somebody mentioned it and said that they never had lid failures when they use this to tighten their lids. This is something that can help you tighten your lids and your bands to just the right amount of tightness. And then it also has a part that will remove the lids. I think damage free. Now, I think this is an older tool. I don't think they make this anymore because when I was looking on Amazon, I saw reviews from like 2015, 2016, nothing newer. So it was very difficult to find and it's all people selling them at jacked up prices. But I justified it by telling myself that I was looking at paying quite a bit for an antique um, jar opener on eBay. And so this is supposed to open the jars as well. So I figured this is kind of a two in one, but I did pay more for this than it's probably worth, but it's a novelty item. And I really want to see if it works as well as some of the people said that it did. Now over here I've got a bunch of items for cooling. If you saw my most recent video before this, I just put together some kits and some supplies for staying cool in extreme heat if the grid is down. If you have no electricity and assuming that you don't have a generator because not everyone does have a generator and you can't rely on your generator because you never know if you're going to run out of fuel or you know you can't charge your solar panels. So. These are some things that I bought to use in those kits. I've got misting fans. These are just battery operated little misting fans that work pretty well that these are going to the kids. And then this is a larger battery operated misting fan. Now this one here, this is a rechargeable misting fan and this is super cool. Now I showed this in a little more detail in my um, video that I just did. So I'll link that if you guys want to check that out. But it does have the fan and It does fold in half so that it can be more compact or used and if you hold the button down it's going to spit out the mist and then you can put the speed low medium or high and it actually also has led lights if you double click which it's kind of a cute feature for kids, but it's not really useful or necessary for anything else. Just color changing LEDs. I have kind of a hang up with rechargeable items. This does recharge. It comes with a cord for recharging. It comes with a bottle for filling up the water. I don't like to rely on rechargeable items in my preps. I don't want to worry about if this is going to be charged at all times, if the battery is going to be depleting as it's stored. I don't want to worry about having to recharge it in an emergency if I don't have power. So I don't know how much I'm going to rely on this for my preps, but it is handy and we are going to keep it because I like it a lot and we are going to use it. And I'm definitely going to do my best to keep it charged and keep it filled and have it handy. But I'm going to rely more on the battery operated ones and just have plenty of batteries. I'll probably actually let my daughter take this to cheer camp will probably be the first thing that we do with this. And then behind the fans, I do have a, an assortment of cooling towels. I've got some of the mini ones and I've got quite a few of the larger ones, a couple of different brands. We like these frog togs and then this eye cool is very good. This Arctic cloth, there's lots of different brands, but we really like these particular fabric ones and I will link them down in the comments because there's a lot of cooling towels on Amazon that we've tried that we didn't care for. They're a lighter fabric and it just doesn't hold the water and cool you like these do. We do use these quite a bit, especially Rob uses these down in the garden when he's out working in the garden in the heat. And so he has a lot of experience using these in the field. So he really has a lot of opinions about what works better. 
And then this is something else that I got for my kit. I put this in my heat stroke geared first aid kit that I put together. This is an emergency blanket. It's one of those reflective blankets, but it's a little bit thicker and a little bit more heavy duty than some of the just plain really small mylar ones. This has two layers and this can be used two ways. It can be used to hold the heat in or it can be used to reflect the heat away in a heat emergency. So that's why I got that particular blanket. And it's actually pretty nice and it wasn't too expensive. It was actually pretty inexpensive. It did take a little bit longer to get here than a lot of things from Amazon, but I may order another couple of those to have around for different types of kits because this was is really kind of a good item. And then this is something that was recommended to us by a viewer on that same video about beating the heat. Um, these are roll-on cooling gel. They're actually meant for like hot flashes and menopause, but they have a metal tip. You can see the metal tip and they have a gel inside that's kind of cooling and they have a nice smell to them. And she said that that's what she likes to use when she's trying to stay cool. So I thought they would be worth a try. So I did um, order this two pack so I can stick them in a couple of our kits and give them a try. Now this is a couple of things from Dollar Tree. This is just a pack of safety pins. It's always good to have safety pins on hand, but I also really like the container that these are in. I'm always on the lookout for little containers that I can repurpose and store small things in. And the Dollar Tree is a great, great place for that. So I'm gonna have these safety pins to use and the container to use as well. And then this is another Dollar Tree item. We have these around. The kids have these. Um, I actually just kind of really like these. It's a little flashlight. It's not terribly bright, but it's super like paper thin, very light. It has a magnet on it so you can stick it onto something. And you do have to hold the button down to get it to stay on. You know, it's not going to just stay on. But I thought this was just really good. I wanted to have one to stick in like a slim space like my wallet. I do have small uh, keychain flashlights, but I just thought that this was good because of the slimness of it. So I grabbed one for myself because like I said, the kids have these and I wanted one for myself. This is one more thing that we grabbed. This is just the paper because the cloth has already gone outside and is being used in the garden but this is a shade cloth now we are using this in the garden right now but these can also be used during heat emergencies to provide some shade over your windows outside anywhere so shade cloth is not a bad thing to have on hand we also like to keep extra things on hand that we do need for our garden and make sure that we have plenty of those things because in an emergency you might be relying on your garden even more than you do now. You might actually be relying on that garden to provide your food and you may not have other sources of fresh food. So it's important to have all the things that you need to have a successful garden. Now this is a KitchenAid hand um, manual can opener. You know me, I like to buy the really cheap Walmart can openers that are like $3 and I know that I'm going to have to replace them, you know, a couple times a year, but I just use them till they break and then I replace them. But I had some viewers who recommended KitchenAid. A lot of viewers recommended KitchenAid for a better brand of can opener, so I decided I would try one. I'm going to see if I can have a can opener that I hold on to longer than, you know, six months. Now these are just a couple of items that I picked up in the clearance aisle of our Walmart. This is a grease dispenser. It's actually like a grease holder. You would dump your bacon grease into this. It has something inside that will strain the grease and strain the little bits out of it. And then you can store the grease in here. And you know, waste not, want not. Bacon grease is a great thing to save and use in your cooking. It adds a lot of flavor and it's just more economical to save rather than throw away. I've actually been wanting one of these for quite a while. So I was, I felt very blessed to find this in the clearance aisle. And then these are just a couple of package of Depends women's underwear now these were in the clearance aisle for 344 so they were marked down from 1374 so i thought this was a great deal now we don't have anyone in our home who needs this but these could actually be used for a period product especially like for nighttime or for postpartum they would come in handy i definitely know people who have used them for that and then you never know if you might have an elderly relative who ends up coming into your home in an emergency so it's always good to have things that could be used by other people but these can definitely be used for period products so we will use them for that if nothing else because uh three dollars and 44 cents for 16 i thought that was a great deal now these are sharpies this is from amazon this is a 12 count these are my favorite sharpies i know i just bought some permanent markers i think last haul but they were not really the ones that i wanted but i do like these sharpies with the dual tip because i like to have the really skinny tip for writing and the little bit thicker tip but it's not very big it's not a chisel tip i use these all the time i keep these everywhere i keep these in my purse in my car i keep them 
every room of the house because I'm using these for all sorts of things. You can write expiration dates on things. You can write the dates that you purchased them, the dates that you opened them. If you have kids, you always need to write your kids' names on something, whether their drink or their snack or, you know, their gear. If you're dropping them off somewhere and you realize you didn't label their gear. Sharpies are wonderful to have for so many things. And these are my favorite Sharpies. And this is, I believe, the best deal that I could find for this 12-pack. And, you know, they tend to disappear. So I thought it would be good to buy another 12-pack. Now, this is another item from Target. I was very excited to find these at Target. Now, I used to buy these all the time. I think I used to find them at Walmart, but I hadn't seen them in years. I thought they'd stopped making them. These are flushable bathroom wipes. Now, I only use these to clean the toilet, the outside of the toilet. If you've been watching me very long, you know I'm really not much of a germaphobe, but certain things just gross me out, and toilets is one of them. So I don't like to use anything in, around, on a toilet, and then keep it. I think everything that's used to clean a toilet should be disposable. So I do use the disposable uh, toilet bowl scrubbers and and I used to use these to wipe the outside of the toilet and then you can flush them right down. I hadn't found these in so long so I had just been using like Clorox wipes and throwing them in the garbage. I know somebody's going to tell me that you really aren't supposed to flush these flushable wipes and I know but I've never had an issue before and hopefully cross my fingers I won't have an issue because these are great. They kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and on a toilet I just think that's a good thing and there are 36 wipes in each of these packs I did grab four packs because like I said I hadn't seen these in forever I love to use these I'll split them up between the bathrooms and we don't have a target nearby so I grabbed four and next time I place a target order I'll grab some more now you probably recognize these bags these are these mesh zipper bags I use these to organize all sorts of different things I use them when I'm putting together kits. I use them for all sorts of things. These are all one size, this big size, and they have different colors, which I thought was handy if you're dividing things up between family members or, you know, putting different categories of things in them to keep them separate. And these had these labels, which I saw, and I wanted these. But these I've bought before, but the ones I've bought before did not have the label pockets and I did not even realize ha these had the label pockets until they arrived and I'm actually really excited about that. I really like that feature. This is a big set that comes with all different sizes from the big ones on down through the small ones. They have long ones, skinny ones and like I said I use these for all sorts of different organizing projects, packing things up for people, putting things together in kits. So I just needed some more of these. I do have some of these left, but I was out of certain sizes that I use a lot. And now on to mostly some medical supplies here. Now, the first thing I have back here was a case of these emergency drinking water pouches. Now, I've never bought these before. I've never really been into the water pouches. I just think it's kind of... I thought it was a little silly, but as I researched, because I wanted something to put in my heat stroke first aid kit... I researched these and I did find that these are shelf stable for five years. You don't have to worry about them, you know, in extreme temperatures like inside of a vehicle or anything. If they're going to get hot and cold, they're okay. They're safe. They're very puncture resistant and they're much less likely to puncture or leak than a lot of your typical water containers. They do have just over half a cup of water per pouch. This was a pretty big package. I think it was about 50 and I think I could have gotten a slightly better deal if I had bought a larger pack, but since I don't use these very much, I just didn't think I would use that many. But, but these would be great to include in any first aid kit if you wanted to have just a little bit of water, just in case you came across someone who was dehydrated or if you needed it for cleaning something. Just wanted to have a little bit of water that you could tuck away and forget about and not have to worry about rotating it as much. By the same token, this would be great to stick in a hiking bag or a bug out bag or anything like that that you probably we're going to have a different source of water but you just wanted to have something just in case you lost your first source of water or you forgot to pack water just something that you can tuck away and forget about now these are ice wraps these are i found this one first and then i found this two pack and i may end up returning this one i think they're about the same thing but this one these are just more compact they'll fit into more places so i may keep this one and just put it in a larger kit or i might return this and get some more of these they're compression wraps they can be used on a limb an injured limb or anything and they cool and compress they're reusable so i thought these were a great item to have to add to some first aid kits next we have a couple tubes of dramamine i just was um adding this to our medical supplies 
We don't use this very often, but you never know. And then I've got some allergy medications. These are just from Walmart. I've got a couple different kinds of allergy medications. This is like their version of, I think, Claritin and Zyrtec. We had pollen just kicking our butt a couple of weeks ago, and it just really um, reminded me about making sure that we had plenty of allergy medications, even though we don't tend to take this often. So I got these two single packs, and then I ended up getting this double pack when it became available, because it was just a better deal. And then I got these cooling patches. Now I did use these in my cooling kits and my heat stroke first aid kit. Um, they look pretty small on the package, but they're really not. They're actually the size of this whole box. So this was the cheapest way to buy these. I think this four pack. So there's quite a few here because there's five in each uh, box. So there's 20 of them here. And then I did grab these. This was something new I discovered. I had never really thought about this before, but these are one-time use disposable thermometers. And they're not the forehead thermometer. They're like a long stick. And this has 24 of them. And I thought this would be great to have and tuck a few into so many different first aid kits. And this would be especially great if you do scouts or anything where you have a group of different children that you might not want to be sharing a thermometer around. But it could be great for so many things as well. You don't have to worry about batteries with these. I just thought they would be a great addition to my kits. And then this is just the Walmart brand. This is like basically like NyQuil. Nighttime cold and flu. There's severe and just regular. And these are the little uh, gel caps. And we, this is what we typically use, one of these, but I tend to buy them in the day and night pack that has the day capsules and the night capsules, but we just use the nighttime ones a lot more. So I have quite a few of the daytime building up and not as many of the nighttime. So I just decided to buy a couple packs of the nighttime ones so that I could kind of balance it out. And these are items by this brand. I don't know if it's Azo or Azo or if it's just AZO, but this is all like urinary health, urinary tract infection type of things. This urinary tract defense antibacterial protection, they don't actually say so on the package, but I do believe that they probably could, if you take these and drink a lot of water and you can probably flush out an infection, it doesn't say so on the package. It says that this is to get you by until you can see a doctor, but I really do think that these would help if you were not able to see a doctor. Now, urinary tract infections, bladder infections, these things are pretty common and they can turn into something pretty dangerous if they spread into your kidneys. And if you think about it in any kind of emergency when things like hygiene are a little bit more lacking, it's going to be more common to have infections like this. And so I thought these would be good things to have on hand. Not to mention, if you feel like you're coming down with something like that, even if it were not in the middle of an emergency, it might be nice to have something on hand. So these are the antibacterial defense, and this is just a urinary pain relief. And then there are urinary tract infection test strips, which I thought would be good to have. Now, of course, we also keep our emergency antibiotics on hand because those could be used to treat a urinary tract infection. And that's part of the reason that I think that these test strips would be important because that way you can make a little more certain that that is what you're dealing with before you use some of your precious emergency antibiotics to treat it. And then this is just a couple of tubes of hemorrhoid cream. This is just another type of over-the-counter medication. I try to make sure that we have plenty of common medications that you might need in an emergency for things that you can treat yourself. And then back here, I just have some instant cold compresses. Now this was a really good deal. They were on sale, so hopefully they're still on sale. I will link to these. Um, down in the description box and hopefully they still have that good price. I liked these because they're a pretty uh, well-known good brand and the size, they're five by seven inches, which is bigger than some of the other ones, the cheaper ones that I was seeing. And like I said, they were a pretty good deal because they were on sale. So I don't remember how many were in here, but it's quite a few, 25, 40, I can't remember, but we use these for a lot of things. You can tuck these into your first aid kits, keep them in your car and your car first aid kit, your hiking pack. Anytime that you're away from home and you might not have access to real ice packs. These can be handy. I did buy this big pack because I was using some of these in my heat stroke first aid kit, but they're great for any first aid kit. You know, if you're out at the kids sports field and you don't have access to the freezer to ice packs and somebody gets their finger jammed or twists their ankle, if you're hiking and somebody twists their ankle, these are just a great thing to have. So we like to keep these in all of our first aid kits. And so having this big pack of them, these are pretty cool because they have something inside of them that you just kind of snap and it just kind of mixes together the different elements that are inside and it creates 
um, coldness. All right, guys, that's everything that we've added to our prep since the last time we were together. Thank you for hanging out with me today. As always, we appreciate it so much. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me a cherry emoji down in the comments. I'm Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.